Hi, I'm Ken Bastard. I lost a cap out of my mouth uh, six, eight months ago. Finally went to a dental lab. They put in a uh, partial. It's hard to show you these things, they're so tiny. I don't think you're gonna see it. This is a partial here. What happened? It cracked and it wouldn't hold. Went to the dentist, he says, I'm sorry, you'll have to reorder it. I only paid 150, but I, I didn't want to spend another 150. Okay, what I did, I started messing around with trying to make my own. And I've seen some videos on YouTube where they make them out of clay and you have to heat them up and it's a little bit of a production, but I start, one day I was at the donut shop not too long ago. I was using the coffee stirrer. They come about like this, kind of a thin thing. They're a little longer than that. I did break it off, but I then went like this right in the donut shop and it seemed to go right in. And that started me on this kick of trying to make my own. I, I used a few of these. I have about three right here. Very hard to show you this without... Uh, let me see, I'm gonna pull in. That's a coffee stirrer. In fact, I put two together with contact glue. Now they will go in, but I notice I need a dental cement uh, to do it. Let me see. Actually, this is kind of holding now, see? Now that's two coffee stirrers cemented together with contact glue. And then with this stuff, the dental adhesive, I got it for 99 cents at the 99 cent store. It did hold. I do songs on YouTube and it's holding now, in fact, just about as good as the one I'm going to show you. To pull them out, you have to kind of turn them. And so I actually made three backups. I made three in case I lose the other. It's like, you know, so tiny, these things. I don't know if you're seeing these in my hand or not. There they are, like little stones. But one day in my room, a lady friend who eats a lot of Chinese food, she left some chopsticks in my room. And uh, I broke off one. I, I used it, but this is a chopstick, a little thicker than the other. This is the coffee stirrer and the cup. This is the uh, chopstick. And I figured, well, this would be maybe a better thing to try. But the coffee stirrers, I used a pair of scissors to cut them down to size. You gotta whack them off flat on top and then put a little diagonal on the bottom, about a half an inch. So I went to 99 and I bought I didn't have a saw, you know, especially to saw something like this. So these are from 99. This is a steak knife. And it's got that graded bottom. And I went sawing away on it. <clears throat> In fact, I uh, got the angle of the bottom, kind of a diagonal that went this way. I'm gonna pull out my gem, my mystery tooth, my miracle tooth. This is a cuff not a coffee stirrer, this is a ch uh, chopstick. It's the same old size, kind of maybe a little thicker. I put a number on the back so I know which is front and back. I don't think this is showing up. We're talking about minute size. But this is a cut down, I just dropped it, oh my goodness. It disappeared, here it is. <clears throat> That's the problem with these. This is a cut down chopstick, right? I had to saw this end down and then I had to angle this end here with a saw, I mean with a steak knife. And let's see, is this the right angle? Maybe I can do it right here. Instead of the mirror, I can get this in here with the LCD screen. I'll get closer. See, that's ugly and when you sing, it always shows. So what I'm gonna do is without any glue, just like I did the other one. Get this one in here. Mm-hmm. Now right now I got it. I can't see like I would see in a mirror. This tooth right here is the water. And it's holding, you know? I can feel it. The one thing I had to add too to my repairs on this was the inner part, I had to wedge it a little bit. 
I put it at an angle so my tongue wouldn't bump into the bottom of the tooth. I can get by on this as well as I did get by with this partial because the dentist told me don't eat food with the partial, it'll come out. Well these, I wouldn't say you can just wear them all over town and eat steaks and you probably have to pull it out. Give it a try, just kind of measure yourself up, put that wood in there, give it about a half an inch or more, maybe just a hair more than that. And you can have your own tooth for the cost of zero. Maybe a steak knife, I would recommend a small saw, I don't have one. No contact cement needed, it's feeling very firm right now. So this is Ken Bastard in Hollywood. And uh, nice to talk to you and I hope this helps you. It's helped me right now, I'm real happy. I'm not sweating the fact that the real partial broke.